Yeah, check them out. Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Here, uh, adventure cycling, I bumped into Arthur, and Arthur's gonna give us a, a, a little tour of his trailer. It's a, it's a homemade trailer. And uh, what do you use this for? Well, this is just for sitting up in the mountains and relaxing. Go for two or three week trips, then you ain't gotta worry about nothing. It packs all the food and clothing you need for up to a month. And uh, what'd you do? Just buy a trailer, like a Home Depot That's, trailer? No, it's a utility trailer. Utility trailer, okay. Yep, it's a utility trailer, not the Home Depot style. Okay. Uh, I got it where it's hauling about 1,400 pounds, including the trailer. That's not too bad. No, that's not bad at all. No. And what'd you make the uh, superstructure out of? All right, well, I, I use the 11 30 seconds plywood. Okay. And then I have uh, ribbing, which if you can see the screws, you can see the ribbing in it. Yeah, and the doors, they're custom made. You gotta make them so they fit tight. I use flooring for my inside. I got insulation throughout. It's insulated on the roof, in the walls. I have it packed up my garbage. But, uh, you know, these are some of the things. The power washer, because uh, you can pick up money in the campground power washing trailers. Really? Yeah. Hey, you gotta be resourceful. <laughs> I got my double door refrigerator. Uh, and that runs off of 12 volts nope, or electricity? Nope, that's on electric. I can plug in or I can uh, invert it to battery. It's only 110 watts. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I have a 200 watt inverter in my RV and... Uh, that would be just enough for this and my... I use all battery up lighting. But this is my coffee pot would run on a 200 watt. You did a really nice job on all the details I, here. I would, you know, it's something I just I have this together. hardware on my shutters in my house. Yeah, I just threw everything together, you know, Home Depot, pick up this, pick up that. I and drew the plans, it took me a f couple of weeks to draw the plans. Up. And is this like a sick and sea tall, like boat marine? Uh, this is just a varisane on it. Okay. This was just to keep it protected until it gets coated for real. This has to get with a rubber based paint so that it stays more durable. The roof has to get some rubber on it, and I'm thinking about a uh, uh, camouflage wrap for the rest of it, so it blends into the woods. Like a vinyl abide? Yes. Yeah, a vinyl. That, that's really cool. And you got a couple extra tires here, I see. Yep. If you go on a treacherous different road. Size. Different size, yeah, that would give you more wheel clearance. And then the roof here, I see you some flashing. I have this on my chicken coop. Yeah, that's on the key, edge. Because the roof opens up. So that stops any rain or anything from being driven into the roof. And what, what angle does it open up to? All the way, flat out. It's six, six foot, two and a half inches tall on the inside. And is there webbing or tenting or is this open? Uh, no, I have to put together uh, the screening for it. I'm probably use snaps when I do that because it has to be able to have any kind of framework. I have to pack everything in here. Um, I keep my map in the United States so I know where I'm going wherever I go. This is getting brought in. This is a couch that I found that works great. It unfolds. It's a sofa sleeper? Like a double it's bed? It's a sofa sleeper, yeah, and it's really lightweight. One hand you can pick it up and that's important in here. I see you got a wardrobe. Do you have a porta potty? Yeah. Uh, no, I use a Home Depot bucket and I have tents. Okay. I set tents up my campsite. One will be for storage, outside storage, and one will be for the bathroom itself. And then you don't have to worry about bears inside here? No, I don't have to worry about bears ever because I don't have, I don't uh, give bears anything to look for. And that's this is pantry. a little pantry? Yeah, that's the pantry. That would be right off the uh, refrigerator where you need it. This is ventilation for the refrigerator and also I have a surge bar for my electricity if I can plug in somewhere. I see that. Right, so I have extra electricity outlets. And that pole is like a table base? That is a table base. I picked out of the scrap yard. I haven't been able to use it yet. I made this table out of the scrap I got from the street. So that was just a table that someone had in their house they were throwing away? Yeah, yep. You got an RV pedestal on it? Yeah, I just started, yeah, I started putting it together. Um, it's not done now. Good thing that it sticks out this far because I have to cut in deeper. This is a U-shaped. And I don't want the U-shape because just in case I have to put a lot of stuff in here, it's eight feet of space on the inside like a motorcycle would fit right in. And what do you have? Crawl space? Oh, those are RV uh, windows. These are RV windows. Yep, these are all RV windows. That's for good ventilation. The roof is locked, but I'll just give you a little damage. That one's already open. There's your roof. It opens right up. Let me go outside. And yeah, it's on piano hinges. It can open real far. And that's my dog house for when I got my dog. And I got two. Uh, and you bring that. You bring that with you. Yeah, I bring that with me. That goes on top of the truck. Excellent. Yeah. That is uh, that is a uh, an engineering marvel you got here. 
You know, it's it's good to meet people I think outside the box. Well, you know, when you get ideas, it's good if you put them together. You know, if there was ever a disaster, my window opens up here too so I can get out. This is also an RV window and it has locks on it so it's it like opens up so you can escape. So I have the roof escape, I have the doors, that's 36 inches of doors, and then I have the window. So that's a regular jealousy window. That is off of an RV. And then it, it's also emergency exit. Right, emergency exit. And this is a spice rack that I uh, put in. It's got a door on it. And uh, that's uh, nothing can fall out and, you know, when you're bumping around. Uh -huh. It's all contained. And then you got your uh, bow? Yes, I have a bow up there. It's a 30 pound recurve. It's good for uh, small game at close ranges. And uh, let me see. Yeah. I'm, you got hidden traps everywhere. Yes, this has all storage. I'm going to eliminate a little bit of storage underneath this couch so I can roll like a whole full size motorcycle in. Just in case I'm doing a rescue on something. That's what mine does. Uh, the yeah. back door is open. I could load a motorcycle or right. an ATV or bike, right. bike my mountain bike in there. I should have. I should have went with a wedge design on the roof and had this side open up when I park. I see what you mean. Because that would be a better design. But it took me a long time to put it together on paper. So since you already had the duct to get through the door this way, it would taper up. Yeah. It would. Yeah. It would. That would be the high side. There would be no ducking. That would probably have a seven foot door on it. I see. Right. So there's always revision house. too. <laughs> Right. So what uh, what what got you into the whole I guess survivalist uh, outdoorsy? Well, did you or did you serve in the military? No, they called me the wild man. I grew up in the mountains. Really? I grew up with camping family, and I would uh, they would all go to sleep in a camper, and I'd take my sleeping bag and go out in the woods. You know, I like to be with the with the nature, the stars, and all that. Yeah. So that's how I grew up, and it became a, a passion of mine. The mountains of New Jersey, or oh well, I go all over now, but yeah, I grew up in Sussex, okay. Ranchville. Uh, right by Sunrise Mountain. It's a really nice area. Nice. Yeah, it's like my backyard. I, I explored Alamuki uh, State Park oh, sure. mountains before. I do mountain biking there. Yeah. Well, this is a, this is a real treat today to bump into. Uh, you know, I'm always out uh, cycling. I always bring my video camcorder, and I always bump into very very interesting people. Uh, uh, some people actually, I bumped into camping in the woods. Oh yeah, sure. And, and they've been you know two three weeks, and they're like, yeah, this is this is how I live. This is yeah, this, my I love it. love it. Yeah, I could. Like I said, I could live out of this. I live on disability, and I don't have to restock it once a month. And there would be uh, plenty of money to do whatever I want. That's for pots and pans. That looks like an old RV it door, is, like Coachman. I, I found one rotting yeah. out in the woods. And There's I another one. It. Yep, I, I stripped a few parts out of it that I needed. That's how I got the pedestal. And uh, yeah, you know, people don't really have time, I guess, to uh, invest in themselves. No. You know, this you work is, for a living. You work, 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 work. Uh, then yeah. you retire. And then, right. and, and then you, know, you can't do some of the stuff you want to do. A lot of people don't like to go to work. I love to go to work, and when I couldn't go to work no more, I ended up with a, a hole in my soul. I didn't have to fill it up. Yeah. I started traveling all over. I had a lot of hard times, but uh, this is what helped me out, helped me fill it yeah. in. You lived like the nomadic uh, lifestyle, nomad? You get to meet a lot of people. Yeah? Yeah, I'm always friendly when I go out and introduce myself to me a lot too. of people, right? And uh, invite them to my fire. Uh, I'm famous from the fires and the fireplaces. I put them together in an hour and they stay burning for as long as I'm there. They never go out. Really? Even in the rain. Even in the snow. I can, and I love the snow the best. As you see, I'm not dressed. I don't know what it it's is. It's a gorgeous 40, day here. Was it, 45 degrees? About that. Yeah, I, that's my perfect weather. Hi. I'm out here today doing the same thing. Just a little yeah. bit more gear, huh? We can take a walk around the outside. This is my portable generator. Never used yet, never had to, but it's two-stroke. Runs, It runs forever on a little bit of gas. Okay. I have a four-stroke generator, but, man, that thing's heavy as anything. Yeah, that one you can carry around one arm. Yeah. So this is uh, the front here. Yeah, that's my hitch. And it's a uh, two regular two-inch ball? Uh, yeah, no, inch and three. Inch and, th yep. inch and inch seven eighths? Inch seven eighths. Okay. Yep, and uh, I keep bicycles all the time. I have yeah. a mountain bike, a road bike. My son does BMX. I have a 13 year old son who likes okay. to go out with me when he's not in school. That's the water tank. I'm going to hook up with water. I have to mount that to the front. The 20 gallon go. fresh water tank? Yep, and I'm going to uh, mount that and then encase it right here. On the and, front? Yep. And, and what about, uh, you going to do anything with heat? Well, I was thinking about first I wanted to have wood heat because you know you get it out of the woods. Yeah. But then I said propane is really not that bad. I was thinking about mounting a propane bottle and they have really good propane stoves as long as they're ventilated. 
So it's not nothing to cut a hole in. I have right uh, a zero ventilation uh, buddy heater. Oh yeah, those are good. Zero ventilation is what you want. I need a little window open because the, the humidity right. level gets high. Yeah, it does. But uh, that's what I have a buddy heater. I have a 20 pound propane tank Yeah. and it does the trick. And there's no brakes on this, no surge nope, brakes nope, or electric brakes. Don't need brakes and it tows perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's a I regular got, leaf spring suspension. Yeah, I put the 15 inch tires on it to get me height. Mm -hmm. The Suburban's a little high and I had to level it off. I got a two inch drop on the Suburban. Here. Excellent. Well, Arthur, I really, really appreciate you taking the time today to show us your trailer. I wish it was done. You did an excellent job. It will never be done. There's always <laughs> there's always refinements people make. Mine's not done and yeah. it was built but you complete. Use it, right? I use it. There you go. See, that's all it takes. Well, this is Patrick from New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I'd love it and I'll see you soon. Bye, Arthur. Bye-bye. You all have a good day. Thanks for stopping in.